What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Tattoo Critiques. If you saw our last Reddit video, you know we had a lot of fun with that one. So we're going to do it again. But this time we're checking out shoddy tattoos. And this was actually a suggestion sent in by one of our longtime viewers, Lydia Winters. And if anybody out there knows what we like to see here, it's probably her. So let's see if she's right. All right, now based on the suggestion, I'm kind of nervous to see what we've got here, but it's gotta be fun, right? Let's check out this first one. Oh man, oh, permanent pimples for life, baby. Getting freckle tattoos is nothing new, and it looks like she tried to do something different here, but fell short. If she didn't go with red, this might be a bit more appealing to the eye, maybe some turquoise and some other colors, but the red just definitely makes me feel like there's some sort of skin problem here. I could kind of tell where she was going with this. She wanted little hearts all over her face, but not the smartest move in my book. Here lies the problem. I can't really tell if those marks on her forehead are actual pimples or if those are part of those freckles because she's even got that little blue dot in the middle of her eyebrow right on the bridge of her nose. I also like how you included those nasty swamp green freckles there to match your eyes. It kind of looks like Fruity Pebble cereal, if I'm being honest. I'm kind of hungry. I mean, you could definitely try putting black or brown on top of these, but I really think it's just going to be very distracting from your face overall. So I don't know. Do I think this was a smart move? No. Do I think you'll regret it? Probably. You could maybe cover it with a Batman logo or a Zorro mask. I don't know. Wait a minute. Is that the Big Dipper? All right, we'll mark this one as shitty. Let's see what else we've got. Oh boy, um, where do we begin? Let's start with the My Little Pony tattoo. First of all, with the words, I can't make this out. I don't know if it's a different language or if it's just a lot of letters just piled on her back because there are actual words at the bottom of this tattoo. If I had to take a stab at what this says, I would guess Twaka Srawizanka Raunasi. Man, is that Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Yeah, her kids probably tattooed that too. It's funny that the bottom isn't like that horrible in comparison to the rest of the back. If that is her kid's drawings, well, uh, take some art classes, kid. There are just so many frowny faces all over her back for good reason, because I'd be sad living on that back too. And if we look under the My Little Pony, I can't tell if that's a branding or a burn or ringworm. I don't really know what's going on there, but hey, at least she doesn't do drugs. Maybe she should. So she's obviously not a fan of weed, but if we look toward the bottom left of this back, there is definitely a pile of powder and this guy is holding a dollar bill uh, and it looks like his nose is bleeding for some reason. Lord have mercy. I don't know if the My Little Pony tattoo came first or if this No Hemp tattoo came first, um, but I love the composition. It's very well put together and <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, the My Little Pony's eye is outrageous. I don't know how they're seeing anything out of that eyeball. They're probably blind. I think the tattooer is probably blind too, obviously. I hope this was a kid drawing because if this was an actual artist drawing and this was you trying your hardest, you get an F. All right, now this other tattoo, this cannot be the same person. They've got no weed on her back on this one and this one they obviously love 420. But this is a great equation and a motto I can live by. Next. Oh boy, here we go again. What are the chances of having multiple acne tattoos on the same video? And this just goes to show you, if you're gonna do small little red heart tattoos, that you have to make them big enough to look like hearts because these are going to age and as they age, they're going to lose structure and just look like tiny little red dots that look like pimples. This probably isn't the best idea, people. This video is brought to you by Noxima. All right, enough acne for one day. All right, well, here we go. This client had an old shitty tattoo that they had cleaned up. And I must say that the artist did a stupendous job with the rework because this thing is clean, especially with that old tattoo that they were working with. The artist definitely knew what they were doing with this tattoo because they managed to cover up almost all those thick lines and blowouts. And it almost looks like the old tattoo is never there to begin with. So there's obviously hope out there for those of you with a bad tattoo. You just have to find an artist that knows what they're doing. Let's see what else we've got. Dick fingers, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, the wrist bone's connected to the bone. All right, uh, I don't think the artist did quite that good of a job here with those skeleton fingers because those look like um, sausage tips. If you didn't have sausage fingers before, <laughs> you do now. The skeleton fingers should have definitely been a bit longer just because right now they look way too short. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this was tattooed on a toddler. Oh man, that's actually a big hand. Look at the artist's hand. I'm not sure why the artist decided not to put the bones in the thumb. I think it would have finished off this amazing tattoo. Probably would have saved it, to be honest. Nothing can save this thing now. Well, this thing could definitely be worse. You could have a hatchet man tattoo. Whoops. 
Fucking woo. And we just lost half our audience. Ryan, where's my favorite? Oh no. Oh man. Uh, trust, love, here's. Cajun love, baby. And I love how she's got the tattoo attire as well. I don't know if that's a shirt down at the bottom or something, but it's got all this tattoo imprint everywhere, and it looks like that's where she got her idea from. Just a bunch of shitty roses and hearts. How do you like your shitty tattoos? Cajun style. <laughs> I mean, I think all of her tattoos were probably done by her brother, who she trusts, loves, and hears. Yeah, I mean, she's obviously proud of it, so uh, good for you. Is that a diamond on the left-hand side? That little black thing above trust? My guess is either a diamond or a blacked-out Confederate flag. <laughs> I refuse to believe this is real. Gonna go ahead and uninstall Reddit again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if this was a cover-up of a cross or if the cross was originally part of this design. Hopefully this thing falls off. It looks like it's already on the way. That love just looks like it's scratched in. Free hepatitis with your tattoos. All right, now before I get sick, let's move on to the next one. The reason to light. Mickey is in a predicament. I think this is supposed to say the reason to fight. I'm not sure. Mickey being crucified by Jesus. Why do people get these tattoos? This is clearly not good by any stretch. And I don't even know the point of this tattoo. I don't know if Mickey's trying to fight to get out of the mousetrap for his kids. And is that the artist's signature in the middle? Walt Disney would be so upset. And it looks like two of the kids are the exact same. I think the artist took one stencil and just copied it to the right. Couldn't even change it up a bit. This is definitely something you'd see on the back of a minivan somewhere in South Dakota. Why South Dakota? I don't know. I've already made fun of the South a lot in this video. Yeah, I don't know. There's really not much for me to say about this tattoo. I mean, the lines could be better. Your choices in life could have definitely been better. But good luck with that one. Next. Oh, hey, this one was actually done by a friend of mine, Deanna, who works out of Ink Magazine in New York. She is a very talented artist, so this one was definitely more of a joke tattoo. Now, I've never seen Thousand Pound Sisters, but I've definitely seen the memes, and this one cracks me up. Sodies. I probably drink up 12 sodies a day. While we're here, if you haven't had a chance to check out Deanna's work, I highly suggest you do. You can find her work at Deanna B Tattoos on Instagram. And make sure you check out some of her paintings because they are unbelievable. This tattoo definitely doesn't do her work justice, but again, this thing cracks me up. There really isn't too much to say about this one in particular, so on to the next one. Oh boy, what happened with Jesus' legs? Lord forgive me. Dude, Jesus is ripped. He's got all these muscles that are coming out of places that shouldn't even have muscles. I'm sure his arms are so ripped because he's carrying himself around with his knuckles because uh, those legs aren't helping. I hope this thing's free-handed because there's no way I would allow a stencil like this going on my back. Not just because it's Jesus. You know, this comment cracks me up. It says, it's like when you start writing with really big letters, but the last three are really small because you ran out of room on the page. And this is a perfect example of just that. It definitely looks like they got halfway down and we're like, oh shoot, we're running out of room. Yeah, but just make his legs smaller. This other comment says, someone skipped leg day, clearly. And that's the dopest tribal cross I've ever seen. I mean, that's a huge cross. Could you imagine this Jesus hanging up at your church? That's a sin. This whole tattoo is a sin. And who is that to the left? Is that his little companion? To the owner of this tattoo, if you're watching, do not go back to this artist. This one's messed up a thousand different ways, unless that's what you wanted. I'd say the best thing to do about this tattoo is probably just pray. Real quick, I want to take a break and give a shout out to the sponsor of this channel, Mad Rabbit. Mad Rabbit is a tattoo aftercare company that has something for everyone. Whether you're dirty and need a shower, or you just got a new tattoo and you want to keep that thing looking fresh, be sure to check out all their amazing products at madrabbit.com and use code PONY20 to save 20% off of your entire order. All right, let's get back into it. Okay. Well, it seems like this girl really likes symmetry because uh, she's also got two really shitty tattoos on the back of her neck. Or I should call it attempted symmetry because these are by no means symmetrical. This definitely looks like an at-home tattoo. Uh, those beaks on these geese? I don't know if you know what kind of birds these are, but those beaks need some help. These lines are all over the place and they never even bothered to clean up any of that ink. This back is a mess in more ways than one. I don't know what the point of this tattoo is supposed to be, if these birds are supposed to be tied together upside down, if they love cockfighting. Probably. I mean, if we look at the lines on the left side, those lines are all blown out to hell. And you look at the lines on the bottom, on those beaks, and they are just, Hardly there. Hopefully this person didn't pay for this tattoo because I would want my money back. Yeah, the feet, are those feet? Is that what they're called, feet? Is that what we're calling those now? Yeah, and I just don't know why it's upside down. Oh yeah, now I see it. 
I mean, come on, this definitely looks like the artist's very first tattoo. I mean, that's a lot of real estate to take up for such a bad tattoo. Let's play this one out. I bet there was some sort of at-home tattooer that told this person, hey, I've got a sick tat gun, let me tat your whole back. And this is what they got. Dirty, dirty birdies. I don't know what else I can say about this thing. Hopefully they found a better tattooer since this back piece was done. I mean, you could always turn this into a world map. It's really just missing some dotted lines and some sea monsters. All right, all right, enough of that one. Let's see what we've got next. All right, and here we have a Fairly Odd Parents tattoo. Not the worst tattoo I've seen today, not the best tattoo. You can definitely tell there needs a lot of work to this thing, but at least you can tell what's going on. Man, people really love 420 today. But this one is funny, I love the little bag of Cosmo down there at the bottom, and you've got the little Wanda Bong. Uh, the idea for this one is great. The execution is probably like a 5 out of 10. I mean, this is definitely a fun design, and it kind of reminds me of Slater from Dazed and Confused. George Tote Weed. Yeah. Absolutely George Tote Weed. Are you kidding me, man? He grew fields of that stuff. Yeah. But as far as technical application goes, it could definitely use some help. There are areas of holidays, and a lot of the lines aren't super straight. It looks like this was done by a newer tattooer, but at least they took the initiative to make a design of their own. So I definitely wouldn't categorize this as a shitty tattoo, but maybe more of a learning experience. Okay, here we have a palm tattoo, and I think this is a great example of how a palm tattoo usually heals, unless you know what you're doing. And even then, there is still a huge risk of a lot of it falling out. Palm tattoos can be very difficult to pull off well, and in most cases, it don't heal the way that you would expect. The skin on your palm is just very different than the rest of the skin on your body, and it doesn't like to take ink too well. So if a palm tattoo is something you'd be interested in, make sure you research your artist and get somebody who knows what they're doing, or even has examples of healed tattoos in their portfolio. Unfortunately, this one just looks like a dirty palm. But let's see what else we've got. This one says, on the eighth day, God made a farmer. And it definitely looks like this combine is shaving a turd. Oh, I'm not sure God loves you, Hunter. <laughs> I wonder how many swipes Hunter got. It's probably not the best idea to tattoo an entire back of wheat because it's just going to look like this would have been better a lot smaller, maybe somewhere on the arm or leg, somewhere where you're not tattooing all these little lines because they're just not working out. And ladies, you probably dodged a bullet here because could you imagine dating somebody like this and then two months later they take off their shirt and that's on their back? He's been waiting for two months and you're just gonna run out of the house screaming. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna find anybody long-term, buddy. But ladies, if you are interested in Hunter, you can probably find him at FarmersOnly.com. Oh my God, there's another palm tattoo. Oh, shit. <laughs> it does say something, doesn't it? Stay sober. Oh, he can only see it when he's drunk. He probably got this when he was drunk. And what a great reminder. Anytime you want to pick up a drink, just look at your palms and realize the bad mistakes you've made. But luckily, as we just talked about, a lot of these palm tattoos don't like to stay and they'll disappear after a short while. And you can go right back to drinking again. But these do look gouged in there, so I'm not sure they're gonna go anywhere. I can't believe I figured out what it said. Are they not giving out tokens anymore at AA? This is what they're doing? This has got to be step 13 of your 12-step program. Well, hopefully this works for you, buddy. Good luck staying on the wagon. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a deer and a wolf. Do you see the deer? He sounds like, ooh. That deer cracks my shit up. Deers don't have lips. Some people just shouldn't tattoo. Some people shouldn't get tattooed. I mean, again, this is just the number one reason why you should research your artist, because you're gonna end up with old fat lip deer that looks shocked as hell. He's more shocked than I am. You think the deer is scared that he's gonna get murdered by that wolf bear? That's not a deer, it's a dirt. <laughs> it almost looks like this tattoo is made in a VFW. They should know what deer look like. I guarantee there's at least one or two deer heads on the wall. Just look over your shoulder and Look at that. How stoked do you think the tattooer was to take a picture of this for his portfolio? He's like, I can't wait to show all my friends this wild lipped deer. And apparently nobody can make grass because this is just atrocious. It just looks like lazy fog. I have no idea. If you're unsure that you could tattoo something, just don't tattoo it. Leave it for the next artist because this sure is not your strength, my guy. How do you think the guy wearing this feels about this? Either, damn, that's a sick deer. I can't wait to go hunt him later. I mean, it kind of looks like the client just bought a shirt from Walmart, took it to the artist and said, Give me that. I mean, in all reality, that's definitely the kind of tattoo I would expect to receive from a tattoo shop with wood paneling. All right, let's check out one more. <laughs> oh, it, look at that. It looks like somebody got the lips of the deer. Woo! All right, obviously this is supposed to be like a kiss mark, but it just looks more like two turds about to kiss. I think just adding some red would really help this one out. And hopefully it wouldn't look like bloody poop. Man, these poop jokes today are on fire. I'm immature, leave me alone. Oh, and I think this is on or around the butt cheek, which makes this even more gross. This one's so bad, I think I can smell it. I would definitely classify this one as a shitty tattoo, but thanks for sticking around. I'm glad you made it. If you guys would like to see more of this kind of content, let me know. 
And once again, thank you so much, Lydia, for the suggestion. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're here. Smash that notification bell so you can be notified when we put out another video. We try to put them out every week. Usually we're trying to help artists along the way, but sometimes we like to have a little bit of fun like we did today. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next week. Thank you.